95.7 The Hog, the morning hog. It's morning hog happy hour. That is Guy. I am Riggs, and it's time for Riggs and Guy Brew Review, and that is Amelia at SR Parade. World headquarters in parts unknown Florida. But Amelia, you were kind enough to bring a very special guest to this Daytona 500 weekend brew review, didn't you? That's right. We've got Rusty Wallace on the phone what? with us today. What? What? The legend. Good yes. morning, Rusty. Hey, good morning, guys. Good to be on your show this morning. Well, uh, thanks for classing it up. We appreciate it because we we usually just uh, sneak in here on a Friday morning and have a few uh, you know a few sips of some fine SR Parade products and enjoy uh, what is now a race weekend. And Amelia, you've assembled some great beverages that are perfect for anybody who's going to be doing a little tailgating or just heading to the track and bringing that cooler with them, right? Yeah, that's right. You know. We're going to be starting off with some Miller Lite classic, you know, when it's race time, uh, it's go. Miller time. There you go. I feel like that should be a slogan. Uh, uh, Rusty, you, uh, the, the Miller people, uh, you've, you've had some good times with them over the years. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, I started my career with them back in 1991, and it, it was a long run, all the way to 2005, and, and uh, wow. those guys were great to me. We drank a lot of beer. We had a lot of fun. We went to a lot of parties. <laughs> with. It was really good, but... Uh, before we get started, I just want to thank everybody from SR Parade. Those guys have been, that, that distributorship, uh, out of all the guys in the country that I deal with, uh, they've treated me like a million bucks, and they still remain really good friends of mine. Wow, that is, I mean, that's impressive. And that is saying something, as you mentioned, Rusty, to have a sponsor uh, by your side for that long a period of time in any sport is impressive, but especially in the, the changing world of NASCAR. Yeah. yeah, NASCAR's changed a whole lot, and I've dealt with the whole thing, so it was... Uh, and it, and it takes really good distributors and people thinking out of the box to make stuff really cool. And uh, that's what SR Pride did at Miller, and they're still doing that. Yeah. Amelia, this is probably one of those uh, one of those times too, where uh, you know, uh, on a on a race weekend, I know you guys are uh, head over heels with so much stuff to do, but it's a, it's also you love the fact that you're constantly busy, like on a week like this, right? Oh, absolutely. You know, we love all these people coming to town. We love having guys like Rusty here. And of course, Rusty, we're happy to support you over the years and, and even to have you here today as well. Huge fan and um, it just makes everything, you know, more special. And we love those relationships we have with all the race car drivers and uh, it's, it's, it's been great. I mean, you've been to all the tracks, Rusty, but what, what, what is special to you about, uh, about Daytona International Speedway? Well, it's the World Center of Racing. It's where everything started, and, and the companies here, NASCAR, and it's just great. I mean, the, I love Daytona. I love coming down here. I've got a, a home down here in Daytona. It's where I'm at now, and I, uh, you know, I've got great views. I get to see the intercoastal waterway and the ocean, and I've got great restaurants. We get to go frequent and hang out, and uh, there's just a lot I love about Daytona, so there's, nobody has to, nobody ever has to sell me on that. And I've had some good runs here in Daytona. I had some bad ones too. I've had some bad wrecks. I think 1993 was one of my worst. I went end over end about 15 times down the back straightaway here at Daytona. Wow! Uh, but didn't get hurt. But then That's I've had really good one. runs too. So uh, one of my best runs was back in the, you know the late 90s when I won the Bush Clash, the big race that ran in Daytona the other night, and. Uh, so I'm, I, I just really love this place. It's uh, how have we not uh, hooked up and uh, gone to get a grilled cheese sandwich with Rusty in the, in the middle of light? How is that not happen yet, guy? I can't believe it. This is it needs that. Yeah, well, absolutely, it'll happen. We're gonna, we got Amelia book that for us. Uh, now, uh, we got, Amelia, you brought some other beers, too, so we had some uh, tasty Miller Lite, which is good. Yes, I, yes. I, need the, I need the light. What, what else have you brought us today? Hey, we're rolling into Keystone Light. That's the new brand that's sponsoring number two driver today, Brad Kozlowski. Oh. Okay. So when you get uh, when you get a like a guy like Brad under the uh, under the banner, uh, Rusty, is there? Uh, you know, I'm sure you get tapped for advice a lot. What, what what's the best piece of advice you would lend to somebody trying to maintain their their lane <laughs> in the final lap of Daytona? <laughs> I tell you what, we've seen a lot of crashes at Daytona, you know, in the 500s of late, and. You know, it's crazy. The, the, the wrecks always used to happen in the corners. Now most of the wrecks are happening in the straightaways. I mean, there's all kind of crazy stuff going on. But Brad Keselowski, who drives a two-car now, the car that I used to drive, he is really good at Daytona. He's really good at predicting who he needs to hang out with on the track and not hang out with. Some of these guys, 
they're all great drivers, but some of them are a little more squirrely than others. You know, some, <laughs> some you can rely on and some you can't. And Brad's good at figuring that out. So he's always had pretty good runs here at Daytona, and, and I, I expect more of the same. It's funny, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the the class the other day. We heard Chase say that, uh, you know, he didn't want to he didn't want to wreck Blaney. Uh, he, uh, there are guys that he wouldn't mind wrecking. And I would imagine through your career, you might have encountered some of those guys who might not have been as good of friends as others on the track, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, you, there's, there's a bunch of them. Like the, the late Dale Earnhardt Sr., I mean, he a, was a heck of a driver. Off the racetrack, he was one of my best friends. But when we got racing each other, I mean... He acted like he didn't even know me. <laughs> that was something else. And, you know, the other night in the Bush Clash with Ron Blaney and, uh, and with uh, Chase Elliott, I'm up there in a motor racing network booth. I'm announcing the Daytona 5, or the, the Bush Clash with uh, MRN, Voice of NASCAR. That's what I do a lot. And uh, I, you could see that thing getting ready to go bad because uh, Blaney got past him, then all of a sudden Chase kept running them down under braking, and they had one corner left, and when they came in there, I said, you know, I know they're best friends, but he's going to have to sail that baby in there if he's going to win this race, and he sailed that thing in there and hit him right to the side, wrecked him and the other car, and what a mess that was. <laughs> right, and you know, you look at that angle, too, it's, 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 there's... There's no margin for error, especially when you're in a, a chicane like that. It, it, there's just no – you're trying to put two large things in a small space, basically, right? Yeah, and you got a lot of uh, adre adrenaline flowing. A lot of people are really jacked up wanting to win that race. So it was a tough deal. It was. But, uh, hey, you know, one thing I uh, was listening to when you were talking was about the Keystone, uh, Keystone beer, Keystone Light. I mean, that's going to be a pretty cool deal. I mean, everybody's used to seeing Miller Light on Brad's car. But Keystone's coming in, and everybody's changing, everybody's doing different things. And so I had some Keystone the other day. It, you know, it, it's a good taste of beer. It really is. It's a lighter beer. And I believe that's what I'm going to have to stick in my refrigerator, too. So I got the Miller Light in there, and I got the Coors Light in there. No, right. like i got to stick some Keystone since I'm a Miller guy. Yep. Right? Pick up uh, some Keystone right. Light. Yep. 30 packs are on sale at Walmart's and Ooh. Winn-Dixie's. So 30 rack, it'll do you good, and you're going to save some money doing that, too. Or if you want to find one closer to you, srprod.com slash beer finder. This is a very smooth beer. Yeah, this is. Now, uh, Amelia, I know that uh, I know that you brought us, uh, Rusty's going to be happy about this. I don't know if, any, if we had a curry or run some beer to Rusty or not. <laughs> but uh, the champagne of beers is about to make an appearance on the brew review. Let's uh, tell me what's next. That's right. We've got Miller High Life, oh. classic beer, the champagne of beers, right. like you said. And actually, with it being Valentine's Day week, um, they're running a special sweepstakes where they're calling it um, Dive Bar Lovers. So if you have a Dive Bar love story, you can uh, submit your story to divebarlovers at millerhighlife.com for a chance to get your bar tab paid for life. So that's up to uh, 20 thousand dollar value. Wow. And uh, wow. yeah, email your Dive Bar love story to Miller High Life. And um, I'll list that when this video is posted on our social media as well. And good luck. Am I eligible for this? Are you? <laughs> of course you are. You just gotta run. Absolutely. You gotta love some Miller beer. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I love Miller beer. Uh, uh, Rusty, I would imagine uh, there's. Uh, it, it, I would think like you know, it sounds like you know, I've been up to Bristol. Bristol strikes me as one of those towns that there are some really great dive bars, right? You, have, you ever got a favorite anywhere on the circuit that you enjoy stopping by? <laughs> Hey, I got a pile of them. I really do. <laughs> I mean, look, man, I've been around the country so much with Miller and NASCAR. I mean, whether it's California all the way up in the upstate or New Hampshire or Bristol, Tennessee, where I won nine races. And it's probably one of my, my favorite tracks. I love going to Bristol. And, and yeah, there's a lot of cool places right there. And, uh, you know, I like I like playing golf a lot, too. So I end up with these uh I end up in these clubs, uh, you know, in the bars after after I do a little golfing during the day, and uh, and we we tend to drink a couple beers and have a great time. And uh, so now I'm I'm gonna have to make some of my my uh, dive bars carry uh, Keystone Light if they don't have it. That's right. Hey, <laughs> that's, right. Yeah, you, that's what I like yeah, to hear. Yeah, let Rusty go in there and <laughs> make, make make some decisions for these people. Do you know who I am? Yeah, you, you guys were talking about the you know a fellow highlight, the champagne, a bottle of beer, right? Yeah. Right. So. So I got myself in the motorcycle business now. I'm building high-end Harley baggers, and really? we're going to be down here. Yeah, we're going to be down here for Daytona Bike Week. We're going to be set up at the Broken Spoke, 
Oh. But I built a bike, and I painted this thing. Uh, Chip Foose, the legendary car designer. Yeah. Chip yeah. Foose, the, yeah, Chip designed this paint scheme for me. It, it's, a, it's not a scheme, but it's a color. Anyway, he calls the color champagne. And so oh. I painted the bike this champagne color. Man, that looks really cool. It, it, uh, it's, a real, it's a real hot bike. I got a big 124 motor in it. It's a street glide. It's a beautiful bike. I, and I'll have it down here for Bike Week on display. But we're sitting there trying to figure out what to we're trying to figure out what to call this thing, you know. So all the guys back at the shop are like, "Hey, man, you know, you painted this thing champagne." And then my kid Stephen, he's like, "Hey, Dad, you know, you've been a Miller guy your whole life. Um, what about if we just call this thing High Life?" And I said, oh, "Yeah, Miller Life High. Yeah, you know, that's pretty cool, that's, right?" That's right. So that's right. We we named this bike the High Life. Uh, the champagne, you know, that that's the slogan Miller's got for that beer. So uh, I love that's it. How that happened. <laughs> Well, but Bike Week just got a lot more fun. It was already going to be good uh, that we get to do it in Daytona Beach. And now Rusty's going to be here with that beautiful ride at uh, Broken Spoke. Well, we'll definitely have to talk between now and then to make sure people know to uh, come out and see you in a few weeks. But uh, that's got to be that's got to be one of the uh, uh, treats of uh, what what you get to do now. It, it, you, you know, you become an ambassador for the sport. Obviously, you were when you were driving, but you you are now, and you get to taste these great SR Parat products wherever you go. Yeah, I do, I do, and uh, I, you know, that's a good term because I am basically that's my title is the ambassador for NASCAR, and uh, and I do a lot of the I do a lot of the announcing with the Motor Racing Network, like I said, but you know, you, you, I did that my whole life, but man, I got so passionate about these motorcycles, it's unreal, man. I've been going to Sturgis for 19 years in a row now, and this will be my third uh, in a row bike week down here in Daytona. And uh, we got so excited, we started a brand new company called Southern Country Customs. And uh, mm -hmm. we're going to be set up with 12 of our brand new builds over there to Broken Spoke That's the whole entire time. And SR Prot's going to be with us, supporting us. And we're just going to have a hell of a time over there. So I'm looking forward to it. You know, I, uh, a friend of mine, Ron Katz, drives uh, the uh, uh, funny car. He used to be sponsored by Brute cologne and he would they would pour brute in the headers before they'd warm up that funny car i wonder if you could put some champagne uh, the champagne of beers in the headers a little bit on that bike and and splash it out whatever you <laughs> think that, that I'm, might I'm sure you can and you know what i know Cap, i know Rob Cap's pretty good i know yeah. him through my buddy don for dome you know don used to be the miller guy also you know That's the drag right. racer yeah. Yeah. So Caps, Caps, and Perdome are really, really good buddies, and so I can, I can actually see Ron Caps doing that uh, <laughs> because I think that brood will catch on fire, won't it? Yeah, I guess it will. And boy, when you're sitting up in the stands, you, everybody smells it. Everybody all of a sudden has cologne on them. Uh, <laughs> Twenty thousand people <laughs> so smell like they're right. in a cologne cabinet or something. But I, I, yeah, that you know that group, Rusty. You just you, because Rusty always to me, uh, Amelia, struck me as a very, you know very, very conservative business type guy. <laughs> But then knowing that he hung out with Perdome and Caps, oh, I got I got to hear some stories off the air now. We got to we got to get some of those. Oh, you know what? Let me tell you about Perdome a little bit. We take him to Sturgis with us. Perdome's been with me for ten years in a row out Sturgis for the motorcycle rally. Right. He rides my bike. We're, we're great friends. It's really cool, dude. It's uh, it's I, I cannot wait to get you down here for uh, for bike week. It's going to be a great opportunity, Amelia. Uh, uh, obviously. Uh, we, we talked about SRProt.com. Oh, what are some other places that people want to run out and uh, pick up some of these tasty beers for this weekend, for sure? Definitely got to hit Walmart, Total Wine, Winn-Dixie, um, convenience stores, anywhere around the racetrack, you're going to find these beers. I can't wait. It's a big weekend. It's, a, it's the weekend that everybody waits for to kick off the NASCAR season, but it is a, a party itself, and we got a, a couple more days to enjoy it. Uh, Daytona 500 on Sunday, Rusty. Well, uh, you'll be up there in the booth, I guess, uh, seeing all the uh, all the action. You got a you got an expectation for this weekend? I mean, uh, again, at least these guys get some practice this year. <laughs> you know, at least they can get on the track before they have to you know, drop the green flag, right? Yeah, they do. You know, I always pick you know the guys that I really understand their teams with and all that. And I, and I actually know that Penske team really, really good. So. You know, I think, honestly, I think it's going to be the two car or it's going to be Joey Logano, that number 22 car, or the, you know, the other teammate, Ryan Blaney, that 12 that, you know, got an altercation the other night with the, the, in the clash race. So that's right. Uh, that's what I think. I think Ford is, I know the guys that build the engines for Ford, a guy named Doug Gates back in North Carolina. And man, they, they have brought some serious horsepower to Speed Week. So, uh, I know what they got under the hood. Not so sure about Chevrolet, but I do know what the Ford guys are doing. <laughs> Well, if anybody knows about the number two and the Ford, that is that guy, uh, Rusty Wallace. I, I, what a pleasure to have you on here today. I can't, I can't believe 
You're on the Rigs of Guy Brew with you with Amelia yeah. from SR Parat. We appreciate you so much for being a part of this. So looking forward to uh, catching up with you uh, for the uh, remainder of the race weekend. And then Bike Week, it'll be on. We've got to get you back in here for Bike Week and talk about some cycles. Ooh. Yeah, hey, I can't wait to get on the show with you. I love your station. You know, the first thing I do when I hit town uh, is turn on 95.7, the hog, because you guys just got that cool music. You know what I'm doing? Our shops are in North Carolina, and we stream you guys every single day because I just want to get that Daytona feel at my shop in North Carolina. You know what I'm going to start doing, guy? It's going to have to do the Rusty Wallace song of the day. Every day. We're doing that. Yep. Yep. So you just have to text me. Let me know what's on to play for you. We'll put it on. That's the deal. That's well, I'll tell you right now, there's about <laughs> 25 motorcycles in the shop back at, at Southern Country Customs in Mooresville, North Carolina, where our shop's at. And right now, I can promise you that uh, the app is on, and they are wide open listening to your guys' station. And I'm sure none of those guys have a beer in their hand right now. It's 9 in the morning. It's not <laughs> happening. But, but cheers to you fellas. <laughs> Amelia, thank you so much. Rusty, thank you so much. Stick around. we got round two of the Brew Review coming up next right here on the Morning Hog on 95.7 The Hog. 95.7 The Hog, the Morning Hog Friday edition. That's Guy. I'm Riggs. Riggs and Guy Brew Review. Amelia is over there at SR Parat World Headquarters. And... <laughs> Wow, we uh, we go from you know a race weekend of great tasting beers, uh, and we have you have some beer alternatives. Although we we have a beer we didn't even get to uh, with Rusty that we have to talk about. Yeah, thanks to Rusty for being on. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, That's yeah. fantastic. What are we starting off with? What, hey, yeah, where should we go? We're next? gonna check out Blue Moon Light Sky. It's a citrus wheat, ninety five calorie oh, beer, yeah. and it's brewed with tangerine peel. So, oh, if you haven't tried this beer yet, you can try a 12-pack for free with a rebate. So, it's what? now through February 19th, which is next week. So, you have a little bit more time to go get a 12-pack of Blue Moon Whoa. Light Sky and submit your receipt and um, check it out, man. Great way to sample the brand. Wow. And uh, also, if you're going to be at Total Wine tomorrow, Saturday, February 13th, we actually have a girl over there sampling Blue Moon as well. Um, I believe oh, nice. that's from 3 to 6 p.m. Wow. Okay. You definitely get the citrus uh, and the tangerine peel in here. And uh, 3.6 3. carbs, 95 calories, and it's only clocking in at 4%. That's beautiful. I like that word. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Okay. I mean, I have girlfriends who, um, like, this is their favorite beer. You know, they want to drink a light beer, but they like it to have a little bit of flavor. So, and yeah. Blue Moonlight Sky is their go-to. You know, and, and you, it's free. Amelia just told you how you can get this beer for free. Not free. one beer, but 11 other beers yes. of the same beer. <laughs> yes, get it. My God. And you know what's coincidental, Amelia, is that Monday... It will be uh, my birthday, so I would imagine uh, next week on the Brew Review we'll have, uh, you know, be like my special birthday episode. And then the following week is Guy's birthday. So it's as if oh. Blue Moon knew to give us this kind birthday gift. You know? Exactly. It's like they knew. It's like they knew what we wanted. Uh, yeah, but delicious. I'd love it. I, I just want to have this and also eat a tangerine at the same time. I want to do both. I'm, I'm, right. I'm looking at this next beer wondering how this is going to taste. Right, what is next, Amy? Yeah, well, we're going to switch gears a little bit and roll into Vizzy Hard Seltzer. Now, okay. this is the black cherry lime flavor. And we've had Vizzy on before, but they've actually got some exciting new stuff coming out this year. So... Just be on the lookout because there's going to be a lemonade version coming later this year and a variety pack number two with all new flavors. Really? Oh, I yes. like that already. Yes. Okay, I, I love this flavor. It's not like yeah, a yeah, weird new flavor. This flavor, the smell in it is just like mm, black cherry that and lime. Really it goes good. really well together. That lime really pops. You're right. And mm -hmm. it, so, okay, so they are, so Vizzy is also getting into the lemonade game. I know we've uh, yeah. tried some other ones. That, that, that is, uh, uh, that is going to be really good. That's going to be a great combo for them. You definitely get the black cherry and the lime, and it's clocking in at 5%. So this, this is a decent sipper. Ooh. Yeah. If you want to find out where to get it, you go to srprod.com slash beer finder. Oh my God, was I supposed to sip it? I just chugged it. <laughs> That's really good, though. My bad. Uh, boy, that's tasty. That is very tasty. And again, not that background taste. That's just full flavor. Oh, 100%. Let's roll into the next flavor. We got pineapple right. mango, okay? 
Now, all right, all right. the pineapple mango. Um, right now, you can find these variety packs pretty much everywhere, all the major grocery stores. And um, I believe the pineapple mango flavor is what you can find in a single serve at convenience stores. Okay, I like the uh, I like these fruits as a standalone. You know, I like them uh, just uh, individually to eat. No, so that's awesome. Yeah, that's like a bouquet. That's like a floral bouquet, except yeah. it's, uh, except it's alcohol, and I'll take it. Ooh, that is delicious. It's pretty fun. Oh, yeah. Pretty fun. You know, what I feel like this would be. I feel like this. Uh, I feel like this sampler of Dizzy would be a great idea for like a Valentine's gift, you know? Oh, like, 100%. I, 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 I love you and I, I love you so much, I'm willing to share some of my Dizzy with you. Well, yeah, and V for Valentine's Day, <laughs> V for Dizzy. <laughs> Thank you. That, you. You don't even need a card. You just write on the box with a Sharpie. Hey, <laughs> listen to Amelia because she's a girl and girls know what girls want on Valentine's Day and girls want Dizzy. Okay, good. That's easy. Yeah, that, <laughs> I didn't even think about tapping into you as a resource. That's the perfect idea. Uh, okay, uh, fantastic. And again, full flavored. And there are two more flavors. What's next? We're going to roll into the blueberry pomegranate flavor. So if Ooh. I haven't mentioned already, Vizzy has antioxidant vitamin C, and they get that from the super fruit acerola cherry. Okay. Yes. All right. can, you, I, can you say that on the air? Uh, well, Acerola we believe this now, but chair. Oh, now, okay, now it's gonna <laughs> there. It's stuck through there. Now, uh, uh, this is one of those things where I have been. I changed up my uh, my vitamin regimen, so I feel like I'm really like vitamins are really helping me out lately. And now this Vizzy is going to just take me to a new plateau with the vitamins in it. Exactly. Yeah. If you're going to go out to the races at all this weekend, you're going to be out around crowds or people Ooh. at all. You want to make sure you're loading yes. up with some extra vitamin C, but you're also having a good time. So, you know, you can bring your own cooler to the racetrack and you can bring Vizzy too. Nice slim can, you know. Oh, yeah. You could fit more of these in a cooler because yeah, they're slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. And they have 5%. They have 5%, so it's going to get you going through the day. Oh, Absolutely. It's, really it's just water, right? No. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's special water. Uh, all right, one more special flavor sitting there. Wait, wait, what's our finisher? All right, we've got strawberry kiwi, a classic Ooh, favorite yes. flavor, and checking it out. Okay. Smells good. Strawberry kiwi. Everybody loves. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't gone to your grocery store and like touched the kiwi, do that with a glove. With a glove on, that's, that's fun. But then to. Eat one and then maybe drink one now. Oh, that's a wow! The, that may be my favorite aroma of all of these. Ooh, yes, please. I'm starting to like yep. seltzers more and more. Yeah, yeah. I, I spent a lot of time in a uh, like one of those uh, Bath and Body Works recently, looking for uh, lotions, you know, for myself because I, I, I chafe in the winter. And I got a, a strawberry kiwi uh, lotion, and I just can't stop smelling myself. Now I can just drink that uh, same thing, and it's even better. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I can't even believe there's alcohol in this one because it reminds me of a, like, Capri Sun. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm going to put a thin straw in this and try it that way. It's an adult Capri Sun. It is. Well, what a beautiful palette of uh, great options for uh, Daytona 500 weekend, a Valentine's weekend. Uh, don't forget Sunday. You got If you're not at the racetrack, you're going to have to... Uh, Get your significant other and your loved one something special. Uh, we recommend any of these uh, great uh, Miller products or, of course, some great Vizzy. Maybe just do both. You can drop into srbrot.com slash beer finder and find out where to get these delicious yes. products. Well, Amelia, I, uh, we, we, there's apparently a problem with the bonded courier we sent over to bring you. Uh, Guy and I both made some, uh, some construction paper heart valentines for you. Um, and I'll tell, I'll just, since you didn't get it, I'll just read mine. Here's what it says right here. It says, hang on a second. Um, Amelia, thank you for the beer. I wish you were near. Rigged. Aww. That was one I said, yeah. Guy, yeah. What'd you, what'd you say? Roses are red, violets are blue. I love drinking beer with you. Oh, Aww. that's beautiful. Aww. That's very sweet, you guys. We, well, we love SR Parat. We love Amelia. Cheers. Cheers.